Welcome to the Reef Restoration Instructional Video, brought to you by Bay Islands Reef Restoration. This video will accompany your dive briefing and will teach you the basics of coral reef restoration. You will learn about the importance of coral reefs and reef restoration projects, how to grow coral reefs in a nursery, and techniques for outplanting corals in the wild. Coral reefs are one of the most biologically diverse and important ecosystems on Earth. Although they cover less than 1% of the ocean floor, they are home to nearly 25% of all marine life. Over half a billion people depend on coral reefs for food, income and protection. Reefs protect shorelines from storm-generated waves and provide livelihoods in tourism and fishing. However, coral reefs around the globe are declining as a result of pollution, overfishing, disease, climate change and ocean acidification. According to the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, more than one quarter of the world's live coral cover has been lost in the last three decades. As a result of greenhouse gas emissions, global temperatures have increased by one degree Celsius since the Industrial Revolution. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change predicts that 70 to 90 percent of coral reefs will be lost if temperatures increase by a further 1.5 degrees Celsius. A 2 degrees Celsius increase would impact 99 percent of the world's coral reefs. Coral restoration projects can help our fragile reefs to recover more quickly by outplanting nursery grown corals in the wild. Bay Islands Reef Restoration focuses on two Acropora species, commonly known as staghorn and elkhorn coral. These corals are keystone species that grow quickly and provide the complex three dimensional habitat that is critical for marine life. In addition, these species reproduce through fragmentation, which makes them perfectly suited to reef restoration projects. Unfortunately, the Caribbean has lost more than 90% of these reef building corals, largely due to the white band disease epidemic that occurred in the 1970s and 80s. Bay Islands Reef Restoration seeks to preserve the remaining genetic diversity of these keystone species by outplanting multiple genotypes on the reef, which increases the likelihood of successful reproduction during coral spawning. Acropora corals are grown in man-made nurseries using naturally occurring fragments that are collected from living reefs. Coral nurseries are installed in shallow areas where the corals receive increased sunlight and are protected from predators and inclement weather. In this environment, a finger-sized coral fragment will grow to the size of a basketball in only nine months.
diagonal cutters to remove encrusted clams, barnacles, and large accumulations of growth. Use a kitchen brush to remove algae from the hanging corals, the monofilament line, and the horizontal and vertical arms of the coral tree. Work quickly and efficiently, maintain neutral buoyancy, and be mindful of air consumption and no decompression limits. Place a monofilament loop around one end of the coral and tighten it so that the coral does not slip. Use the diagonal cutters to crimp the monofilament loop in place while firmly pulling on the loose end. Thread the loose end of the monofilament loop through the coral tree from bottom to top. Crimp the monofilament line in place, ensuring that the line is flush with the top of the crimp. Identify a location that does not have any other live coral, sponges, or sea fans. Ensure that there is enough space to plant 10 corals in an area the size of a hula hoop. Avoid areas with dense, furry macroalgae, as well as locations that have already been colonized by damselfish. Finally, ensure that the surface area is stable so that the coral will have a solid foundation. Find a spot where the coral fragment can be fastened with at least three points of contact. Use the brick hammer to clear algae from a two inch circle under each point of contact. Place a blueberry sized ball of epoxy in each cleared area and press it into the surface. Position the coral fragment, then firmly press it into each ball of epoxy. Smooth the epoxy over the coral fragment. Now wave your hand over the coral fragment to ensure that it is securely fastened. Maintain neutral buoyancy and be mindful of the position of your fins. Work from top to bottom and from inside to outside. Be efficient and use materials sparingly. Finally, pay attention to air consumption and no decompression limits. Congratulations, you are now ready to assist with tending coral in the nursery and out planting coral fragments. On behalf of Bay Islands Reef Restoration, thank you for doing your part to help preserve our coral reefs for future generations. Ha ha ha!